What do you know about x-rays? We all know they are used to take pictures of your bones or see the contents of your bag at the airport. But have you ever imagined that a very powerful source of x-rays could also help solve industrial problems and could help speed up your innovation process? Well, yes it can, and the ESRF does this. A wide range of techniques is open to industry at the SRF. Dr. Michal Stutzky, beamline scientist, will give us an insight into small and wide-angle X-ray scattering, also called SACS and WAX. Typical samples which can be investigated uh, with small angle and wide angle scattering techniques are present in everyday life. As you can see here, the products on the screen. All these products contain uh, colloids, uh, proteins, uh, polymers or surfactants. And the final self-assembly of these building blocks into, for example, micelles or uh, vesicles determines strongly the uh, conformation of the final product. The investigation of vesicles is important for cosmetics, for detergent formulations, but also for pharmaceutics as drug carriers. General applications for small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering are in the field of soft condensed matter, non-crystalline structural biology, and interdisciplinary areas of soft matter, biology, and nanoscience. Looking especially at the field of proprietary research, the combined small angle and wide angle scattering is a powerful method to determine the nanostructure and phase behavior of multi-component systems involved in um, cosmetics, in detergents, pharmaceuticals and also polymers. In addition, in situ studies can be performed under similar conditions as that uh, involved in industrial processing and typical industries which are interested in beam time at the ESAF are from pharmaceutical industry, uh, detergent companies, personal care product uh, manufacturers, polymer industry, food industry, but also for medical diagnostics. Using the high brilliant small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering setup at the ESAF has uh, several advantages. This is, for example, the high photon flux and the reduced divergence of the beamline for high resolution measurements over a wide range of length scales uh, from a few angstrom to the micron scale. It's also the high dynamic range and the millisecond range time resolution available and the adapted sample environments we provided our beamline, ranging from rapid mixing devices, uh, thermostatic environments to magnetic fields. Also, the expertise for data analysis is present in place. Looking at microbeam, small angle and wide angle scattering, um, in this case the X-ray beam is focused on the sample, allowing micron and nanometer spatial resolution directly on the specimen for testing, for example, uh, local uh, nanostructure uh, of very small objects, but also deducing highly localized information by scanning thin specimen with micro and nanometer real space resolution. Small and wide angle X-ray scattering is a well-established technique to probe the nano to micron scale structure of soft matter. In this technique, a monochromatic X-ray beam falls onto a sample where it's scattered uh, by special fluctuations of the electron density within the material. The scattered intensity after passing through a evacuated flight tube is detected with a two-dimensional CCD detector. As samples uh, can serve, for example, uh, polymer pieces of a few millimeter size, a drop of gel, or also uh, solutions uh, from 15 microliters. The scattered intensity recorded in the 2D detector is first azimuthally uh, averaged and the scattered intensity in absolute units as a function of the scattering angle can be afterwards fitted to structural models which helps them to distinguish between different morphologies, for example spheres, uh, micelles or vesicles. An example for using high brilliance combined small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering is a study of a dilute unilamellar vesicle system as it's often present in fabric conditioner. 
typically of such a system is the transition from a liquid crystalline state to a gel state uh, as a function of temperature. And there's a big interest to move this transition temperature down to low temperatures for high performance of the fabric conditioner. In this graph you see a combined small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering study measured at two different temperatures. It's very interesting to look now at the wide angle scattering signal at uh, one temperature comparing the background scattering with the sample scattering and you see there's only a very tiny difference between the two curves. However, the high detection limit we have available at our beamline allows to clearly distinguish between the two different conformations at measured at 35 and 60 degree. We can clearly uh, determine the structure within the unilateral vesicles. In one case, the uh, liquid crystalline state, in the other case, the gel state. This second example investigates the local nanostructure of cavular fibers by microbeam small angle X-ray scattering. The kevlar fiber was cut into a small specimen of about 10 micrometer thickness and investigated on axis. This means directly starting the cross section of the fiber. The 2D image um, seen here shows the orientation of the local nanostructure within the fiber and you can clearly see uh, the skin core morphology of these high performance fibers. Looking more closely at single scattering images, for example at point 1 in the center, you see an isotropic scattering pattern which is indicative of a random orientation. Whereas in the skin you see an orientated uh, image in figure 3 which uh, indicates the orientation. The use of small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering at the ESF will help you to speed up your research and development uh, by studying the internal structure of your specimen. If you're interested to know more, or to find out how the ESRF can help your business, please contact Dr. Edward Mitchell, our Business Development Manager, or visit our website 